4K technology sounds very interesting from, an, from a technical point of view, but from a business point of view it also has severe disruptive possibilities. In a hospital in the Netherlands, we're working with a local partner and some technology specialists in this specific hospital to see if we can do something else with that. They've already created a cube, and the cube itself represents the heart. So the medical specialist holds the cube, and as he turns and tilts and flips the cube around, the image of the heart follows that movement in the screen. And the next level of that would be that we're trying to connect it to a 3D printer. So we're printing a 3D model of the actual heart, which means the medical specialists are holding the actual image of the heart in their hand as they're looking at the 4K generated image of that heart. That gives them a more intuitive way of working and looking at a specific specialized item in such a heart that they really need to look at. Video becomes more and more a function of how people work together. It's like visualizing the way they work together. It's different from I'm going into a meeting room, I'm activating a camera, and as a result we have a video meeting. Uh, that, that's slightly different. It becomes more and more a function of day-to-day -day work. It's visualizing collaboration, as I mentioned before. In the next step where 4K comes in, where the images try to provide a more real-life experience, you can imagine that maybe the screen on the wall is not cutting it anymore. It's the wall itself that becomes the immersive part of the environment, or the part of the immersive environment. And with 4K, it becomes, again, more real-life. So you're indulging yourself in a visual experience while collaborating and talking to others, from head to toe, if you like.